Okay, guys. I'm not no chef, but this sure looks good to me. This is my fish. It's not overdone. Look at how juicy that is. Ooh. You want to keep it juicy because salmon dries out and it's just garbage, right? The salad that I made, so nice with my homemade dressing, like I said, just um, the apple cider vinegar and a little bit of avocado oil with some uh, lime or lemons, whatever you guys have. Um, this is the mushroom that I cook. And, you know, you don't worry about overcooking the mushrooms because you can eat those raw, so they're good for you. But uh, saute them really nice with the bacon. My eggs, one of them broke or whatever. <laughs> like I said, it's not a cooking competition, but I did time myself, and that was exactly 25 minutes. So I can cook this in 25 minutes. All right, so I take all my ingredients, and like I said, while I'm cooking the bacon and the eggs together, well, this guy right here, okay, it's pretty hot right now, so I'm gonna pull it out. All right. Um, while I did that, the salad was ready because I just throw everything together. All I had to chop was the cilantro, garlic, scallions, and the avocado. And that's really quick, you know what I mean? Um, the ginger root, that, that was so quick. It's just, it took me 10 minutes, what, maybe 15 minutes to do that. So, put it all together. So, pepper garlic, onion powder, okay, um, and just, uh, I put the, like I said, to make the dressing, and that was it. By the time I made the salad, bacon and eggs were done, I put the bacon and egg there real quick, and then I threw the fish. Now, the fish literally took six minutes, literally six minutes, so my bacon and my eggs are still hot, mushroom is still hot, Everything is good to go, and you know I put it in this container so it's easy to eat. I only got one, so when I do my dishes, I really I'm not spending a lot of time doing dishes. Again, getting this thing is really good because you can take this thing off and use it as a tabletop to move things around. My dirty dishes are in here, and as you guys can see, like I clean up all the mess. I put a towel here so I don't dirty my bed. I made no mess nowhere. I'll show you right now. The my truck doesn't look messy. I didn't mess anything up. Okay. So I put everything away already in my drawers while I was cooking. So while I cook, I put everything away in my drawers. I put all the the, the dirty dishes in here already, which has got a little soapy water in there. Um, you know, he's the only one that is not. So I should show you real quick. Let me see. Just go like this. I open this thing up like that. One hand is really hard to do, and you just stick it in there. Goodbye. <laughs> He's in the sink. This is hot, so I'll wait for that to cool off. Um, so, this is really good for you guys to get. Well, it has a little hole to let the steam out, but this is how pretty much I made my my fish. It was kind of steam, you know, with the heat from there. I let, it took six minutes, guys. I threw it in there, and then I put a little pepper, salt, uh, lemon. A um, little cayenne pepper because I love that. And uh, what else? A little garlic powder. Put it in there. One side, two, three minutes. Flipped it over to the other side, two, three minutes. It was it was done. I cooked it at 200 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry, 150 degrees. This thing was hot. It already had that. I never dumped the, the fat from the bacon from there. I, I get the thick bacon and believe it or not the thick bacon has less fat I don't know why but it didn't have a lot of fat and, and I, I don't get the one that's super salty so it might take you try and error to get what type of bacon you want to cook and um, I, the mushrooms I serve I serve most of that anyways so when I put the lemon in here it, it just gets a nice taste to it when this is done cool enough I throw it in here with this and the plates and it's done and if I feel like doing the dishes tonight I'll do it but if not hey tomorrow morning and it takes nothing but a thing just to do the dishes 
and this looks delicious I know it's kind of weird look, look at how juicy that freaking salmon is it's so good I mean maybe for some people it might be a little weird it's like oh my god he's eating the egg with salad but I swear when I did that I tried it and it was just freaking so good so I'm gonna enjoy my meal thanks thank you for watching any comments please comment below and you know let's talk about cooking I love cooking so I miss cooking I was home for like two weeks my wife did all the cooking <laughs> so I miss cooking I love her food but I like cooking too and it's not that hard and anyone can do it so no skills okay for you guys out there new truck drivers and old experienced truck drivers that they're complaining about hey man food is expensive I'm getting too fat I can't lose weight this is a great way to do it I do this once a day I eat one time a day okay I don't eat during the day I just drink coffee and drive no breakfast because I do intermittent fasting and um, I eat no sugar nothing with sugar and uh, you know I, I still I, I try to stay like this now I did that for eight months and I lost I think I was 230 pounds or 40 pounds and I went to 180 so that's really good eight months eight months people could not recognize me after eight months it, it, and I did that with only doing 20 to 30 minutes exercise every two to three days. I mean, two to two days or three three times a week. What I say, sometimes two times a week. 30 minutes, simple exercise, nothing crazy. And I swear, it was great, man. It was great. I could see my abs. Like, I was, wow, it was amazing. And I felt great, man. I felt good, you know, health-wise. And I look good. So... You know, and like I said, I gain a lot of weight afterwards. It's easy to do it because I stay off this. It's not a diet. It's just, I guess, how you eat. You know, I, I stop. You know, I started I started eating a lot of sugars and candy and pastry stuff and a lot of bread and you know, and before you know, I was putting at least over three thousand calories, so to five thousand calories a day, and doing exercises once a. You know once a week twice a week that's not gonna cut it and you can gain that weight pretty fast and being a truck driver is hard to exercise so you know i keep it to like 15 to 1800 calories a day now and i did that for eight months and it works miracles anyone can do it my cholesterol was my cholesterol was great my sugar levels were great everything was just fine my blood pressure was perfect so it works you know that keto stuff it works the intermittent fasting freaking works it's hard at first to get used to it but once you get used to it it's like anything else it's like truck driving it was hard at first and then you got used to it just like anything else you do and but this is great because you feel better hey man you know and it's cheap I spent about 70 to 78 dollars a week eating like this that's it a week that's tough tough so, you know, comment below. Um, you know, tell me maybe all the recipes, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, or tell me your experience. So, and if you want to know more about it, you know, just comment below and I'll make another video. Thank you very much. You know what to do. Peace.